Tone Freaks, uh, welcome to another episode of Tone Quest. We're here at the Mix Machine Studios in LA. Lower Antipolo. Woohoo! Represent. And I'm here to talk about Studio One S uh, version 5. That's from PreSonus. It's uh, my favorite DAW as of late. And uh, I used to be from I used, I used to be a a Cubase user, but when I switched to, over to PreSonus when I was teaching in school, um, I discovered that it's a real powerful uh, DAW, especially for music creation and um, music production and recording, mixing and mastering. It's, a, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome DAW. And version 5, Studio One 5 just came out and I'm blown away. So uh, I just I, I want to talk about what I love about it and what needs to improve and uh, yeah let's get right to it so here we are at at uh, at studio one version five uh, at ito ang, uh, my, this is my workspace view and here um, dito kami nag collab with uh, the late night boys as I've said earlier I really loved um, the new plugins of Studio One Five. I think they're not completely new. Cause you can buy you can buy those plugins uh, uh, separately, but they're included if you reg if you uh, subscribe to Sphere. And uh, first of all, I'd like to feature the uh, Fat Channel XT. Analog compressors. Yoohoo! This is a model of LA2A and the electronics. This is a very, very popular. Uh, it's a very, very popular compressor. The Teletronics uh, made by Universal Audio, I think. Oh, yeah, Universal Audio. This is their version of that. And if you drop down here, you have the standard, of course. That's what I'm using right now. The FET compressor, which is an SSL, uh, an API type compressor. It's one of my favorites also for, for doing bus, bus compression. I mean, ito palang busug na ako sa gusto kong mangyari sa tracks, with my tracks. Um, as you can see, being, uh, I'm an audio junkie and I love vintage gear and seeing these controls just makes me so happy and dito naman moving to the equalizer part of things Tara, balik natin yung ginagamit kong tube compression and this is uh, using a solar compressor here pero ang dami pang iba you have your uh, this is a pull textile compressor and I think ito yung favorite ko but sometimes I'll use this I forgot what type of compressor uh, of equalizer is this. Sikat na red tube compressor. Uh huh. It's not mentioned the brands na lang. <laughs> Three band EQ. This is I. This is your Neve type, syempre. And your VTI equal, equalizer. Here you have a standard limiter and a standard gate. Wow. So these palang. Uh, it's just it just makes me so happy. Okay. Let's let's hear it. Huh. Let's hear let's hear this. Okay. okay. So. Off and on. Yummy. Ah, let's go back to my solar. Off. On. Off. On. I mean. Ang sarap, ang sarap pakinggan, ang sarap na feeling, sarap yung pakiramdam dito sa studio. It really feels amazing, really feels amazing when you click when you click it. Um, it's not as responsive as analog gear. It's, um, you have to really dial, uh, get, you really have to dial in, uh, I mean push it to make it responsive. Pero, Okay pa rin kasi, you know, this is just an approximation naman of those um, classic style, uh, I mean, uh, the classic gear approximation lang to. But, still fantastic. Okay. So, 
compressors here, the vintage ones. And if you scroll here to the right, I'm scrolling here, you still you also have the uh there's a complete VTI here, a tri comp, and uh isa. Yeah, I you I always use the VTI also when I'm uh, do on on the stereo outs. Sarap din siyang gamitin. And of course, new faces for the for um the uh, channel strip. There's a new face for the channel strip. Let's just put that there so makita mo po. Medyo yun. You can customize the look of this thing. If you go here, song setup, general, and uh Sana ba yun? Options. Yan. Yan. Appearance. You can customize the whole. Uh, yan. You can go light, dark. Yan. Diba? Cute din eh. No? But you know, uh, na-customize ko na to uh, on my, you know, sa gusto kong ano. Tanggalin ko mo yung channel strip na yan. Alright. So, yeah. The plugins are amazing. Especially if you subscribe to Sphere. You'll get all these plugins, and you'll get amazing loops later. Pakita ko yung loops. Uh, another plugin that I really love is uh, the analog delay. Ang galing. Balik tayo sa drum bus. Weird kasi ang ginawa ko, um, I, uh, I put an analog delay on the drums. And it sounds amazing. That's without it. That's with it. Okay, that's without it. Okay, again, let's do it. Okay. Two, three, four. Nice. Tatlo lang pala yung count on. <laughs> Cute. But if you put the analog delay on it, ang ganda. And you can set it to, I, I, I set my analog delay. Tira mo yung controls. Eh. Wow, that's so retro. Vintage retro. I put a, this thing, the color part here. It's the most amazing thing. If you drive it, you can hear very, very nice. Listen to that. Listen to that. I mean, it's amazing. Let's turn it off. That's the off. It's Now it's on. Diba? Diba? Ganda. Off. On. Alright. I mean, play with it, play around with it. Ang ganda ng analog delay. Ampire has a new look as well. Let's see. I put an Ampire track here. Pahingan natin. Okay. This is Ampire. So, see. Yan. Okay. Kind of a new look. Okay, dami mong pwede sa pwedeng gamitin. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's hear, let's hear how it sounds. Alright, I, I, I put a fuzz on it. Because uh, I want a big bottom end on the the, the back track. Play around with it. Turn off. Turn on. Right. Okay. Medyo kabisado. I I I've already uh, kind of memorized uh, how the ampere sounds, so I get a good tone. Uh, a, usa a usable tone out of this, uh, and uh, just play around with it. Uh, you can also check out my video on how I uh, get a good tone from uh, on Ampire. Uh, I explain all the amp simulators uh, there. I explain each amp and how they sound, and each cabinet and how they sound, and each mic placement and how they sound. All right. So the next one is amazing loops. Amazing loops. We have customized loops, which are which are stems. These guys are not uh, stereo tracks. They are not stems. If you check it out, see. Just go here to the uh, 
acoustic drum loops pro and uh, you'll see a lot of uh, you see a lot of uh, there are categories here um, you have your pro acoustic pro metal R&B funk so I, I think I I went to R&B funk and I loaded 70s funk and it's a lot of stems look at that there's an there's intro there's verse there's amazing right amazing and they sound pretty good like like real drums well not the man like real drums but you know you get the picture sound pretty good okay so uh, let's solo these guys out and uh, see how they sound this is the drums uh, You can take out the overheads, you can take out the uh, ambience, you can take out the snare. See? I mean, they're very usable, maybe for broadcast if you want to, um, you can actually join our, our, our recorded drums and put it here. And, uh, you know, these are recorded anyway, so these are stems that are recorded from uh you know from real drums using using i'm sure great preamps and great uh great uh drum kit and a good room great mics yeah so there drums yeah you have your loops you have your um you have your plugins your ampire the amp sim of course one of the best features of uh, presonus version 5 mix scenes woohoo Okay, what are mix scenes? Let's recall the scene right there. Okay, mix scenes are. Uh, it ditches the use, uh, the need for save as. Your ass will be saved on the mix scenes. See? I mean, I have two kinds of mixes. I can recall each scene without using the save as in one project. So that's amazing. That is completely amazing. No more save as, and that's just great. You know, I'll recall mix one. This mix one. All right, let's recall mix two. See, so it's it's amazing. Mix one, mix two. You can add as many mixes as you want, and no more save as mix scenes. Fantastic! It's great. I mean, let's do something in real time. How about uh, uh let's uh, let's how about let's do something. Let's get this jam bear, make it wow the shaker and. Uh, Let's, for example, around. Uh, okay, that's in real time. Oh, so now we save that. We just put a uh, create scene, and then on the create scene tab, just put uh, let's say mix three. Okay, and then click on the mix three scene, and then update scene. Okay, so now whatever you did, the latest thing you did is the, the current mix. But if you want to go back to your previous settings, just go to whatever mix you have here and recall it. And Very, very nice, huh? Very nice, huh? Come on, admit it. It's very nice. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, fantastic. Mix scenes are great. The next thing I want to uh, feature is the shows. Woohoo! The show scene. Okay, uh, how about show here? The show uh, here. This thing right here. Show. Oops, wait long. I think you didn't see it. All right, there. Okay. Okay. All right, here on this thing, there, show, upper right, click on show, click on the new show, 
and then you have a show right here, right? And then this is like a live mixer, a live digital mixer. So what you can do is add some tracks. Okay, for example, players here. Let's add a backing track. Okay, that's a stereo file, a real instrument, and a virtual instrument, let's say. Okay, let's load the backing track. For example, here. And load this. Okay, we got a backing track right now. An aux for player two. This is your real instrument, like if you have a microphone or a guitar and just connect it your IO just you know it's up to you and player 3 is your uh, this is your uh, what's that your virtual instrument so let's let's do this in real time so we get presence so presence is there and uh, okay. okay and presence let's do a let's say a piano oh let's get the orchestra okay let's say we want choir right right okay just I'll just get in my controller so we can here. okay controller in uh, select my controller first I read keys I oh there all right let's do it uh, let's increase the volume a bit all right okay, I, I don't I'm just gonna you know play through this okay and this is the backing track get the picture it's a live mixer and you can what's the best thing about this you can use your virtual instruments without latency you can add effects without la latency it's just fantastic it's just a great great thing I think uh, some of my colleagues will get into this deeper but I'm just gonna show you the basics and an overview of what I like so yeah all right uh, let's just get this out of the way go back to the saw okay all right, we're here, we're back at the song. And what's the next thing I want to uh, show you is this. Presonus Sphere. So me and the boys, we have the late night group uh, collaboration. This is where we shared our files. In my opinion, the Sphere is like a community page. It's like, uh, it's like, um, how should I say this? It's like social media for it's social media exclusive to Presona Studio One users. Okay, so that's the workspace, and I have two workspaces right now. I'm collaborating with Dino Dumlao, Marco and Dino Love Team. <laughs> Hi Dino, I love you. I love his track. I love. I really like his uh, um, percussion tracks. And then there's also, uh, of course, here the late night group. This is where we. Uh, upload our tracks um for me the workspace function of pre of studio one of, of sphere isn't that great yet i mean there should be something like this and you can dump your files this is, this is a real workspace you dump your files you line them up the way you want them and maybe not so real time maybe in semi real time maybe it, it will reflect a bit later and then you can anyone from the collaborators can move edit but not maybe place effects because it's bigot na yun sa, sa server eh. so maybe just cut paste edit maybe a bit of eq you know and not like this this is just like an email thread and uh it's okay it's cool but not as cool if it's if it has something like this Soundtrap has something like this, but Soundtrap, there's a lot of errors in Soundtrap, and uh, we tried to, Dino and I tried to collaborate with that also, but it doesn't really work in real time as, as well. Okay. 
Okay, so we have this, the workspace. You have products. This is where you see all the uh, all your software and hardware. As you can see, I don't have any. And this is your add-ons. These are all your add-ons. Look at that. Alpine EQ. All of that, those are your add-ons from Sphere. And it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. And then you have your exchange what is exchange okay exchange is is a this is where you can download your um you can download presets from famous presonus users okay you can download their you can download their presets you can download how they record how they use their guitar how they, I mean, how they use Ampire, how they use the compressors, and here, look at that. Yeah. Drum bus, and then maybe uh, if you check it out, uh, if you put, click on the download, it will, uh, my internet's really, really, really bad. Okay, and then you can download that. It's a preset, and you can load it up to, to, your, to your, uh, pro your project page or in your song page. And, okay, learn, finally. We have... Master classes, videos about Empire. Uh, we have videos on Notion, sidechain masterclass, vocal tuning series. It is amazing. I know there are videos also in YouTube and you can search on that, but this is just for us. This isn't uploaded anywhere else. And that's just amazing that we have exclusive content like this. $14 subscribe per month. And I think per year you get a discount. So I suggest subscribing yearly for Persona Sphere. All right, that's my uh, personal overview of the Studio One version 5. My personal favorites, my three personal favorites of, of the, the new DAW. And uh, yeah, vintage compressors, vintage EQs, your state space. Uh, uh, onion? analog delay and uh, the new empire and you still have the pedal you also have the pedal board new, i mean those yun palang panalo ka na eh. yun palang panalo ka na. and then you have your mix scenes amazing and you also have your shows which is amazing para kami live mixer and of course persona sphere uh, if you're a professional and you're using studio one version 5 you're going to uh, maximize um, sphere because and daming pwedeng go with so anyway i'm loving pisonos uh, studio 1 version 5 and uh, you got to check it out guys if you want to um, subscribe to sphere hit me up yearly subscription would be the best if you want to purchase studio 1 version 5 also hit me up the links are on the description below thank you guys thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you like this video